Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today's July 6th, and right now we're looking at the visible satellite image. You can see the sun rising across the west coast here, out over the Pacific Ocean. Check out all that stratus and marine layer moving down the coast. You can see the eddies flowing around off the coastline here, and you can see here on the GOES 18, it even shows, you know, you know, there don't have to be very big fires here to show up on the satellite imagery. What a great tool we have. Lake Tulare, you can actually see it on the satellite imagery here, and still pretty decent amount of snowfall across the higher terrain of the Sierra Nevada as well so just jumping into things here southern california can get some pretty interesting weather here and the san diego california national weather service likes to put out what happened in the past and you can see strong monsoon thunderstorms old mesoscale convective vortex out there and they even talk about old awesome swell off the beaches down there look at that long period south swell six to ten foot surf along the local beaches here so i enjoy these uh blasts from the past here the san diego national weather service this is fire danger thursday and Friday here, National Weather Service Las Vegas here. And gusty winds out there and very dry and of course very hot here. Be careful out there. Don't start any fires. Here we go. Five day outlook for Phoenix, Arizona. It is summertime there after all and you can see the very warm temperatures coming in here. The normal for this time of year about 107 for Phoenix. You can see you're going about five to six degrees above average there. This is looking at the GFS. Last night's run here and here's California. There's Hawaii. This is 500 millibars, 18,000 feet. We're checking off General Ridge and a trough position here. Here. Not doing too bad here, at least for the first few days. But then watch what the models have been showing now. You can see the high pressure starting to make its way west. This is all the way in through early next week. So we still have some time to watch this potential heat wave developing. Look at this tropical system moving along the southern periphery of this high pressure across the eastern Pacific. But look at this huge dome of high pressure here setting up shop over the state of California. And look at that, man. That, that's going to get kind of nuts here. And I got to caution you, we're looking 9, 10 days out of this point here so this still has some time to change here but the europeans kind of showing something similar here before another trough tries to swing by through the pacific northwest here in the extended but now we're looking at 330 hours purely fantasy at this point this is looking at 850 millibars 5,000 feet if we put this into motion here you can kind of see the bounce back and forth there it's actually cooler than normal here for a few days and then that warmth would arrive with that ridge of high pressure here across the region you can see the spin in the atmosphere there from that tropical system and the very warm temperatures aloft coming from much of the West Coast on in towards next week, and this would be July 14th. And this is looking at 500 mil bars on the European run. So let's check this out. This is uh, yesterday afternoon's run goes out about 10 days. You can see somewhat of troughing here across some of the, just off the coastline here, keeping things relatively cool relatively speaking anyway and you can see again at 500 millibars the ridge start to develop here and move its way out towards the west and engulf california here and start pushing up into the pacific northwest so this goes out about 10 days uh, from yesterday afternoon here but you can clearly see some similarities to what the gfs was showing including that tropical system on the southern periphery of that ridge this is looking total precipitation for the next 144 hours and again not much to speak of maybe a couple thunderstorms across some of northern california and nevada and these could even be some dry thunderstorms out there as well so there could be some fire creating potential with those storms and the north american monsoon starting to get kicked up a little bit here across some of mexico here but not making it into arizona here at least through tuesday night this is day one thunderstorm outlook it does include northern california and northern nevada here day two something similar and day three finally that gets out of the area here now looking at Sacramento, check it out on the European, this is the deterministic run here and you can see this goes out towards next weekend and you can see the very warm temperatures coming here after, you know, things being suppressed here, quite comfortable temperatures, relatively speaking there. And then the warm up, some of these haven't even 20 degrees warmer than where we are now. This is looking at the GFS shows something similar as well. Quite the warm up coming here, big ridge of high pressure at 500 millibars is the culprit. And this is looking at the European Ensemble. So the Ensemble actually has it as well. Looks like quite warm towards the end of next week and into next week. And also, this is looking at the GFS. So this is last night's run, total precipitation. This goes out 16 days. And I'm just going to scroll through this really quick here. And you can see maybe a straight thunderstorm across some of Northern California and Nevada here over the next couple of days. But as we go further out, you know, you got to go out 200 plus hours before you start to see some of this activity start to try to move into Southern Arizona here. But not much. Then you go over 300 hours and it starts to show some return to this precipitation but here we are 16 days out before we start to get any meaningful precipitation across the state here you know we'll watch that it's something that we'll just have to watch and wait and see what happens
happens there. But we're suppressing precipitation here across much of the West. And I'll show you that in the outlooks here in a moment. This is the European. This is extended. This goes out over a thousand hours, if you can believe that. Um, 46 days, I believe. But if you go out 400 plus hours, or actually, sorry, 240 plus hours, you can see some of this activity starting to return to the desert southwest here, and maybe some monsoonal moisture eventually creeping up as we go on into August here. So, you know, there's always hope through the extended forecast, right? But this is one of the new features here, the European. They run this extended model every single afternoon now, and it becomes available the next day. And you, so it goes out 46 days all the way through August 19th, that one would be. So here's the six to 10 10 day precipitation outlook check this out big deficit here across much of the inner mountain west this includes a lot of california and a lot of arizona as well this is the 8 to 14 day all the way through july 19th here you know, big bullseye there for below average precip. This is the six to 10 day temperature probability outlook. And if, again, the average for Phoenix is 107, as we saw, you're gonna be above that and kind of highlighted here. You can see the percentiles. Um, anytime you see the these red colors here showing up, you're looking at 60% chance above normal, 70, 80, as you get down into New Mexico and extreme Eastern Arizona. But you can see Los Angeles 78 for this time of year. You're probably gonna be warming up here as well with this big ridge of high pressure moving over the area. Something we'll watch over the next few days, as you saw, it's still a little bit out into the future. Now, this is looking, um, this was the European, the anomaly plume here, Nino 3.4. This is from June 1st here. They put this out every month. And here we go to July. I showed the same thing yesterday. You can see a little bit of an uptick there. So we're most likely headed at some point probably to a strong El Nino here as we go into the fall months and we'll see what develops after that. But we are definitely moving into moderate conditions as we speak. And this is looking at the Pacific Ocean. There's Asia, North America, South America, and Australia there. You can see the tongue of warm water across the equatorial Pacific classic La Nina signature. This would be August, September, October, November, December, and January here. So most likely headed for at least a moderate El Nino, probably a strong El Nino coming up here. And we'll just kind of wait and see what happens here over the next few months. You guys know, as I've said before, not every El Nino is the same and it doesn't automatically guarantee above average precipitation or any certain weather features, but we will watch and see how that develops. So anyway, I hope you guys are out there and enjoying the weather. If you want to beat the heat, get out to the coastlines as always. And uh, we'll do this again tomorrow and I'll talk to you guys then.